All right, today we are doing our first winter hike of uh, the 2014-2015 winter season. We are attempting Mount Pierce, elevation 4,310 feet, in the presidential range of the White Mountains of New Hampshire. This will be my third winter 4K overall, number one in winter, both of them. I got double trouble today, Josh and Ray. So, it's going to be pretty mellow, relatively speaking, until like the last couple tenths of a mile, where it's pretty exposed, and we might actually run into hurricane force wind gusts. So, we'll just take it slow and easy. Don't want to burn ourselves out on this, for our first real winter hike. And we'll see what happens once you hit tree line. We're at a uh, break point on the Crawford connector. By the way, the Crawford Connector isn't part of the official Crawford Path. Official Crawford Path starts a little that way. There's double trouble again. Should be a pretty fun day, although I know how fun dodging 100 mile an hour winds will be. All right, we've arrived at the bridge over Gibbs Brook. This is the bridge. This is the brook, pretty straightforward. Not much reviews until we uh, break tree line, but I'll try and keep you posted as the hike goes on. We're gonna come up. All right, we ride at Gibbs Falls. Oh yeah, it comes up from uh, probably the other slopes from Mount Pierce and Eisenhower. Sorry, I'm talking to my friend. Uh, Gibbs Falls, I'd say it's like maybe 45, 50 feet. Definitely swollen pretty well. And of course, the runoff from it just flows. Uh, down to a uh, low ground, probably into or near the uh, Amanusik River. Just my hunch. Onward we go. All right. Still chugging along the uh, Crawford Path, and Ray just post holes. Don't worry, it's off. Don't worry, it's off the trail. So it's gotten pretty moderate, but I wouldn't call it steep by any means. Although, see what happens on uh, later sections of the hike. Trail actually got some of the steeper side for a bit. I wouldn't call it steep by any means though. So I think we should be getting pretty close, fairly close at least, to the Mitzpah cutoff junction. Alright, we've gotten to the junction with the Mitzpah cutoff. And we're gonna be taking the Crawford Path and that way combined with the Webster Cliff Trail, about 1.3 miles to the summit of Mount Pierce. And if I'm not mistaken, that section right there is a little more mellow than the previous section. Should be a uh, fun time. We're going along the upper part of the Mount Pierce section of the Crawford Path. Actually, kind of pleasant scenery. Even got a few, pe few peekable views. So. Onward we go to the junction with the Webster Cliff Trail. All right, I don't know if you can see it, but that up there is a gray jay, which are pretty common around Mount Pierce and uh, the Woolly Range and the Southern Presidentials. One of the few times I've ever seen one, actually. Awesome. All right, I can see that trees are starting to get thinner. Therefore, if I think, I think we're gonna be soon, I'll meet you there. AKA the uh, Webster Cliff Trail Junction. Pretty much above tree line, basically. You can really feel the wind now. It's probably going to get stronger, too. Oh. It's that way. We're almost there.
incredible. Even more wild. I'll go check it out and I'll meet you over there. Alright, welcome to the summit of Mount Pierce, elevation 4,310 feet. One of the 4,000 footers in the presidential range in New Hampshire. Oh, as you can see, there would be good views. They're still, still not too shabby, but. Quite the height to get up here. I mean, it was actually pretty moderate at best, but I'm not used to it. So, the ground truck distance, well, the distance to here was 3.1 miles with like 2,040 feet of elevation gain. So, I'm going to take a breather here and I'll meet you either back to the trailhead if you go down the Crawford Path or farther down the uh, Webster Cliff Trail if you go to the Mitzvah Spring Hunt. All right, making our way down the uh, Webster Cliff Trail, AKA the Appalachian Trail, to the Mitzpah Hut. Unless something interesting comes up, I'll meet you uh, at the hut. All right, we have an even better view. Out to the Wildcat Carter Range, and even in the main. Where's me? Uh, okay, hey, another ridge right. Very, very nice. We're at the viewpoint on the south peak of uh, Mount Pierce. Yeah, that's frozen water on his jacket. It was uh, liquid, but so cold it froze. Yeah, not really much to see except Mount Pierce moving over the uh, uh, contour of this peak. So, let's go meet you at the Mitzvah Hut. Alright, we are butt sliding down. Uh, you're butt sliding down uh, to the Mitzvah hut. Uh, apparently this isn't the best butt slide ever, but hey, whatever. Alright, you've arrived Club, at the close of the season, Mitzvah Spring Hut. Uh, I actually got a shirt from here. Oh, benchmark. Yeah, that thing's actually pretty big. And it's pretty nice inside too. When it's open, that is. Yeah, it's the back side, facing where the crew enters. So. Hmm. Yeah, pretty much all there is to see for the hut. So, a lot more to see when it's open. So, I'll just leave you here and I'll meet you farther down the uh, Mitzpah cutoff. We're back down from Pierce. We did it! First. Winter 4K for Ray and Josh. Yeah, yeah. And the third for me. That's so bright down here. Yeah, it is. It was a pretty moderate hike for the most part, but we did have our tires where we were winded. But the summit result, I'd say it was worth it, but views could have been better. I mean, on the north side, they were socked in, at least on the south side, we got something. It is like it's sunny down here, it's cloudy up here. Yeah. Yeah, it's good. So, Round trip distance was, I'd say, six and a half miles at 2,500 feet of elevation gain. So from Mr. Ray and Mr. Josh, Cheers. and me, see you on my next adventure.